Hi everyone, this is Aya from For Your Neo and today I'm going to be taking you through how to make your own countertop and add a kitchen sink. So I already have my room drawn out and I'm just going to go right into 3D mode. From here, the easiest way to be able to customize elements in your kitchen is by using the create new product option. So by going in that, I will use um, either the pen tool or the rectangle tool to outline the shape of my kitchen. So for this case, I'm going to be using the rectangle tool and then just push pulling upwards to create the base shape and go to done. So the reason for doing this is it'll give me a seamless countertop and it will let me integrate a kitchen sink as well. From here to have the look of the kitchen, so uh, there are two ways to work around that. It's either by placing uh, kitchen shutters, just like this, um, or if you do find uh, actual base units that you like, you can also place them into the project and just simply drag them into the shape that we just built to have the look of the kitchen that you would like. So uh, next step is to implement our kitchen sink and to do that we would just go into the catalog and look up sink and we will just go with this option right here so I'm just going to click and drag it and this is where I'd want it to be this is my placement and what I would do to have it look like it's a part of the countertop is click back onto the shape that I had just built and then go to modify. And from here, I will like I prefer to go to a bird's eye view so I can look at it from the top and I'll go in with the rectangle tool again. Um, using this, I'll just make an outline around my sink. Doesn't have to be exact. That's fine. We can fix up the edges later on. Um, we just need that base outline. And then come into the push pull tool and we can see here um, when we do have different shapes drawn each one does highlight on its own and that lets you edit it on its own so we will click and drag down the one where it has the sink and just like that now we can see the full sink there so all we'll do to um, close up the sides as you can see again when i hover over the side i can click on that and move it inwards same thing with the back, the left, and I'll turn around and do it for this one as well. And now we have a fully integrated kitchen sink um, ready to go. So from here, I'll then go in and place the texture that I would like for my kitchen. So into the texture tab. And let's say for this, um, for this kitchen, we want a marble countertop. And I'm just going to go with this one right here. So click and drag it. Um, with most things, they are better resized to really have the exact look that you would like. So for this case, I might want to try three by three. And I like the look of that. So, um, so you can see I have a continuous countertop that looks pretty good. I have an integrated sink that works with the space. And uh, you can still go in and put the shutters or the base units that you would like to build your own kitchen. I hope that this mini tutorial was helpful and happy designing.